happy new year. I hope you had a wonderful holiday season and that you're starting the year off in a great way. I was so excited this year to be able to go home for Christmas for the first time in nine years. I cannot tell you how much I miss my Tennessee home and I was so excited to get to spend the holidays with my family. We moved away nine years ago and my kids don't even remember what Christmas or Thanksgiving is like with my family. So this was really exciting for me. I was going to do a pack with me video before we left, but yeah, no, it was December. It was really busy time and I just didn't have time to do that. So what I thought I would do instead is an unpack with me video. And I feel like this might be a little more useful because sure we pack things, but I'm going to unpack with you and show you what I am glad I took, what I wish I had left behind, and if I did a good job packing. I'm a minimal packer. No matter where we go, no matter how long we're gone, I only pack in a carry-on. So I'm a, I'm a packing ninja, but I still make packing mistakes. And every trip when I get home, there's always one or two things that I think I should have left that at home. I, I didn't need that. So hopefully you can learn with me this time and we'll talk about what I took and what I wish I had left. If you're new here, I'm April at Stunning Style and I share classic outfit inspiration and style of beauty tips and tricks on my blog and on YouTube. I created the Stunning Style wardrobe guides. There are seasonal capsule wardrobe collections and I also have the Stunning Style Society membership. In the box down below, I'll have a link to everything. I even have a classic style twist quiz. It's free, you can take it to see what you might be. And I have a 10 day free trial of my current wardrobe guide that you should definitely check out. All of that is in the box down below. Okay, so let's get unpacking. Let me start with weather. <laughs> The weather in the south is far more mild than where I live in Utah and this winter was exceptionally mild in Tennessee. It is usually somewhere between about 35 to 50 degrees in the winter, humid and rainy. Um, I only ever had one coat there and I only needed it sometimes. This winter was unusually warm and I looked at the weather forecast right up until when we left, but the 10 day forecast, you know, they can only guess so far and it ended up being really warm. The first thing I packed was my, one of my all time favorite tops. It is a black ribbed turtleneck sweater. It has the silver button detail on the, on the shoulder and on the sleeve. I have had some version of this sweater in my closet since high school. I have never been without a sweater like this. If it gets worn out, it immediately gets replaced. Sometimes I replace it before it gets worn out so that I don't ever have to be without one. I really love this one. I love this ribbing detail. It's like stripes. I really love the buttons here. It's an extra detail that makes a basic item look really special and just adds some nice details to an otherwise very simple item. I recently purchased a half sleeve version of this sweater that I wanted for the fall and the spring and I wish I had taken that one instead. The weather ended up being from at the very well about 55 degrees to 74 degrees. The humidity doesn't make, does make it feel a little cooler than that, but um, this was still, it was fine. I wore it on one of the colder days, but I could have worn it twice if I had taken the half sleeve version. This is another favorite. This is a dark wash denim shirt. It's very structured. It's really solid. The fabric is so structured that I can roll these sleeves up twice and they don't come unrolled ever. And I love that and I wore this twice while we were there. This is one of my favorite shirts. Hands down, I wear it all the time. So let's talk about the color palette. When you're packing in a mini capsule wardrobe, 
Um, and even in a larger capsule wardrobe in your closet, it can be really helpful to have a color scheme. And for my color scheme, I chose burgundy, this bold pink and purple. And um, I love this sweater. I love this color. This one is 100% wool and I have the exact same sweater in cotton in a fall and spring weight and I wish I had taken that one instead. I did wear this on the coldest day of our trip but I was still hot. Um, I'm, I run really cold. I'm very cold natured. I have, I don't know if I would call it a fear, but an aversion to getting somewhere and being cold and not being able to layer up and get warm. And so even though I knew the temperatures were going to be warmer, I haven't been in that kind of weather in such a long time that um, I did take a few things that were a little too warm for what I, for where I was. So I'm glad I took a bold pink sweater. I just wish I had taken the fall and spring weight version instead. This was too hot. This burgundy sweater um, has appeared in the last two guides that I've done. It's from the fall guide and I carried it over into the winter guide because I just, I love it so much and I wear it so often that I wasn't ready to stop wearing it. This was perfect. This is a silk um, cashmere blend. It's very lightweight and it's definitely more of a spring and fall weight sweater. And it was perfect for the weather while we were there and it was really, I wore it twice. It was perfect. This is a new addition to my wardrobe. I bought it just a few weeks ago, uh, but the weather here is way too cold to wear something like this right now. It is a J. Crew tippy sweater. It's not from this year's collection. I got this on Poshmark and I just, I love the pattern. I love the colors. I love tippy sweaters, period. Um, I have a whole collection of them in various colors, but it's so unusual for me to find a bold colored pattern and this diamond shape and this lattice really fits in with my edgy classic style. So I was really excited to be able to take this on the trip. It was the perfect weight, the sleeve length was great, and I ended up wearing this one time. The last top that I took was this tee. It's got this stud pattern on the shoulder. I love the studs, I love the pattern, it's very edgy classic, and I love the half sleeve length. This was perfect, again, it was perfect for the weather that we were having. I ended up wearing this on Christmas Eve because uh, we were cooking all day and it just gets really hot in the kitchen, that many people in the house, and even though it wasn't a very warm day, we were inside the whole day cooking over the stove, three ovens going. It was the perfect shirt to wear. To go with these tops, I took three pairs of pants. First, dark wash denim boot cut jeans. These are a staple in my wardrobe. I wear them all the time. I have multiple pairs of this exact pair of jeans in my closet so that I don't end up washing these too often and fading them and um, I love them. This, these go on every trip with me. Like the dark wash, these are identical in black and again, I have multiple pairs. They come on every trip. I wear them all the time. Closet staple, they go with everything. Definitely a good choice. I took these burgundy corduroy pants they are a very fine whale, and they almost feel like velvet. I love the color. These are from the Winter Wardrobe Guide, and I've gotten a ton of wear out of them. I love them. They were perfect for the trip. I also wore, I wore these all about an equal amount. They go with, just they all go with pretty much everything that I took, and, um, so I was able to wear each of them about three times. This is an item that didn't get worn at all. I love this scarf. It is, uh, the colors are so beautiful. It's cashmere. It's like, it, it's beautiful. I love it. And it would have looked so good with several of the items that I packed, 
but it was there there was not a day that it was cool enough to be wearing a scarf like this and I kind of knew that before going but I'm just so smitten with it and I really wanted to wear it but no so this I could have saved some space in my suitcase and not taken it another category I ended up taking was a dress we were there over a weekend which means we went to church and at our church we dress up and I always wear a dress or a skirt and I opted to take a dress this time just because it's a one and done super easy and I took this dress it is a favorite I love the stripe down the sides I love the varying width stripes here it even has a zippered slit here and it's definitely definitely me my husband bought this for me a few years ago and he just knocked it out of the park and anytime I wear this dress I get stopped asked where did you buy it what brand is it how can I get one I love this dress it's very chic very elegant and very well made and I always feel fantastic when I wear it. The last clothing item I took was this cardigan. I'm not a huge cardigan wearer, but around the house, I do like to have a cardigan because I get cold. And instead of taking a wool weight sweater and a couple of these items that were a little more um, weather inappropriate for where I was going, I should have just relied on this. It is nice and thick and heavy, but it is a little oversized, which means it's great for wearing even over a sweater around the house for keeping warm. I mean, you could definitely wear this not in the house. I wore it on our travel days, partly because uh, the airplane is like a refrigerator, partly because this is quite bulky in my suitcase. And, um, partly because I like it. It's soft and cozy and on a travel day that's exactly what I want. So it was really, I wore this every day. I wore it at night after I changed into pajamas. I wore it, in the, I wore it every day, all day. I'd take it off and put it back on just based on my temperature. Like I said, I run colder than most people. So this, I take something like this on every trip, even in the summer because I get cold in the hotels on the airplanes and on buses and trains. This, this always comes with me. For outerwear, I took one item. This is a packable down jacket. I wear this a lot. Um, it's paper thin, which is the only kind of puffer anything I can wear. I can't wear a puffy puffer. Um, it's packable. It comes with this little bag, which means it was teeny to shove into my suitcase um, it was freezing when we left here and it was five degrees when we got back so I wore this to the airport and then I took it off packed it in a little bag shoved it in the pocket of my suitcase and when we got off the airplane I was really glad to have this five degrees it was so cold I did wear this while we were in Tennessee a few times um, it is only rated to 32 degrees, so it's not a super warm jacket, and it was fine for what I needed it for. If I needed to layer up for something just a little bit warmer while we were out and about, this was perfect. I didn't, you know, leaving it unzipped makes it a little cooler. It's compact, it was easy to pack, and anytime I go on a cold weather trip, um, I take this, and we actually are headed to a beach destination in a few weeks and I'll pack this again for coming and going to the airport because it's so small it's really easy to put in my suitcase and it just doesn't take up any real estate it's worth it not to freeze when I'm coming and going from the airport so let's talk shoes um, I took four pairs of shoes which is twice as many as I would normally take on a trip but I had a couple of reasons the first pair that I took are my ankle boots if you saw my Nordstrom anniversary sale post, I picked up these in black and a cognac brown. I love the stud detailing around the sole. Because I wear boot cut jeans, 
The only part of my boot that you see is the toe box. And on most boots, the interest is up here on the shaft or on the heel. And that's totally lost in my jeans and worthless. And when I saw these that had the studded detail around the front, it was subtle, but makes an impact. I had to have them. They were definitely an investment, but I wear these and the brown ones constantly, constantly. They are beautiful, beautiful leather, really well made, and they were worth every penny. I wear them so much and they will get wear for the next several years for sure. These were a great item to take, especially because it was rainy. Um, they're not rain boots, but I wasn't out walking in the rain. I was just coming going from places. So I definitely would not take suede to the south on in the winter, um, but I wore these a ton. The second pair of shoes I took are these silver flats. And again, these are a wardrobe staple for me. I wear them a lot. They're a Dorsey flat, very classic and I wore them several times. They were easy to slip on and off. So really, on a normal trip, I would have only taken those two pairs of shoes. I had to take a pair of heels to go with my dress, and I took these. They're a classic heel, but I love this little extra strap detail. I love these open vertical lines, like they're stripes, right? And I love the reptile skin heel. Definitely edgy classic, but very subtly so. These are very classic pumps that will never go out of style, but these little details make them special and add something to the outfit. And then the last pair of shoes I took were these sneakers. I have been really focused on my health. This last year was a huge stride forward in my health struggles. If you've been around for a long time, you know that I've had some pretty serious issues and I've made some huge leaps forward and I haven't been allowed to exercise by doctor's orders, not allowed to exercise for five years. I used to be fit. I used to be strong and I missed that so badly and I am finally able to exercise. I started slowly this fall with yoga once a week and I've been able to slowly add to it. So my husband and I wanted to be able to do some workouts while we were there. So I took my sneakers. Um, I did a few hit workouts and we also went on a family walk slash sprint intervals with the kids around the neighborhood. We would speed walk and then we would chase each other and race to the end of the block. And then we would walk and then we would sprint and race. And it was actually a lot of fun. Um, the kids wanted to outrun us and so far they can't, but those days are quickly coming to an end. Soon they'll be able to outpace us. But in, in the past when I've taken stuff like this, it hasn't gotten touched, but I was really glad I took these. Um, I also put these on on Christmas Eve when we were cooking all day because I was on my feet all day long on a tile floor and that really starts to hurt my feet, my knees, and my back. So these were really nice and supportive and um, I didn't end up with painful feet at the end of the day. So I'm really glad I took these. For accessories, I took two delicate necklaces for layering. The top one is a triangle pendant and the bottom one is the pave bar pendant from the Stunning Style limited edition jewelry collection. Um, it has the pave crystals on the front and then it's solid on the back. So it's reversible. I love that. Um, I love wearing these together. It's a very edgy classic combination. I ended up closing my jewelry shop for the last couple of weeks of the year because we were out of town and I took the rest of the year off. I wanted to spend those last couple of weeks of the year with my kids and then with my family in Tennessee. So I took that time off. Um, I do have just a handful of these pendants left and the shop is now open. If you want one, I suggest you grab it now because they won't be around for much longer. 
The second, then I took three pairs of earrings. First, I took this pair. They're hammered, they're stabby, they're vertical. They're, they don't, uh, they're a statement earring without being too overwhelming. Then I took this pair. They are um, an iridescent white agate. They're from Kendra Scott. I love these earrings. I wear them a lot. I've found that I've been wearing them a ton this winter. They remind me of um, an icicle and they feel very seasonally appropriate. The last pair of earrings I took are these hoops. They're Tori Birch with her classic T logo. And um, I really love them. I wear them a lot and I love the, the shape of them. I don't wear your standard round hoops. They're just a little, I don't do round. But my husband pointed out that these look like snowflakes and I guess he's right, but I really love to wear them. And I wore all three of these earrings in combination with these necklaces throughout the trip. Uh, many times I combined the two, but I occasionally wore them separately, just dependent on the, the outfit and my mood that day. This is typically the maximum amount of jewelry that I would take on a trip with me. Um, I do keep it pretty minimal when I'm traveling with jewelry. Sometimes I only take one pair of earrings, but because we were at my parents' house, it was just a much more laid back trip. I, it felt easy enough to take the three pairs of earrings and both necklaces. My husband and I did end up working out while we were there and exercising together. And so I took two sets of workout clothes. I took these and a pair of black ones for bottoms. And then I took this top with a sports bra and another basic black top. And because we were in my parents' house, I had easy access to a washer and dryer. Two tops and two bottoms was perfect. I only took a couple of pairs of socks to wear with my workout shoes, and I was able to get my workouts done, and that was really nice. Aside from that, I packed the usual. I packed my undergarments. I took two bras. I took uh, two sets of pajamas and I took my toiletries and my makeup. Overall, I feel like I did a great job packing. There were a couple of things that weren't quite right for the weather, but it didn't really cause me a problem. I could have changed out of the sweater if I wanted to. I could have, I pushed up the sleeves because I was warm and then I went and stood outside on the deck to cool off a couple of times when it got really warm. But overall, I think I did a great job and every time I learned something new. I hope this was helpful for you. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I love to share new things with you. I try to upload a new video at least once a week. Just hit the red subscribe button down below and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week.